Hey everyone, it's no secret that the Lakers are actively searching for another big man in free agency. According to Rob Palinka, they want to revisit the successful model of the 2020 roster that won the NBA championship. Although Anthony Davis may play some minutes at the four, it doesn't necessarily mean he will start there. If they acquire someone like Christian Wood, they could work out the lineup accordingly. There's even an argument to start Wood at the four and Davis at the five. The main idea is to surround Davis with other talented big men, so he isn't the sole focal point. Last season, the Lakers faced difficulties with their limited options in the big man department. Damian Jones was ineffective and a disaster, while Thomas Bryant, although great offensively, struggled defensively and was statistically the worst defensive big man in the league. After the trade deadline, they only had Mo Bamba left, who was unfortunately injured for the entire duration. So, the Lakers lacked viable options. There's a sentiment that Lakers assistant coach Darvin Ham doesn't prefer playing big men, but that's unfounded. He previously coached in Milwaukee, where they heavily relied on big men. Looking at the Lakers roster, they lacked versatile big men like Dwight Howard and Anthony Davis, which could have allowed them to play together. The Lakers' goal is to bring in more big men, ensuring they have adequate support for Davis. Jackson Hayes, whom they recently acquired, fits the mold of a JaVale McGee or Dwight Howard type player, albeit not as physically dominant as Howard. Hayes excels in pick-and-roll defense, provides solid help defense, and has good finishing skills around the basket. He could be a significant asset for the Lakers, potentially playing alongside Davis. However, for this lineup to work, Davis needs to regain his shooting touch from mid-range and beyond the arc. In the championship run, his ability to shoot was a crucial factor in playing alongside other bigs. Unfortunately, since then, he has struggled to consistently knock down shots. This becomes problematic because Davis already tends to disappear offensively at times. If he can't regain his shooting form, his offensive impact will diminish, except for his defensive contributions. Now, the question arises, why haven't the Lakers brought in another big man yet? The league is currently at a standstill due to uncertainties surrounding the Damian Lillard situation. While the Lakers might pursue players like Christian Wood or Bismack Biombo, the timing is uncertain. The focus is currently on the Las Vegas Summer League, where organizations are scouting and evaluating players. Furthermore, the outcome of the Damian Lillard trade could trigger a series of moves involving multiple teams and players. This may result in centers like Andre Drummond or Nikola Vucevic becoming available via waivers or buyouts. While these scenarios are speculative, they demonstrate that the market is still open, and unexpected opportunities might arise for the Lakers. It's essential to remain patient and trust Rob Palinka to make the right decisions. Many of the available big men will likely still be on the market a month from now. Although it would be disappointing to miss out on players like Bismack Biombo, the Lakers have Jackson Hayes as a viable option. If Christian Wood joins the team on a vet minimum deal, that would be fantastic, as talent outweighs other factors. However, if Wood isn't an option, the Lakers might consider acquiring a bruising, physical big man. Ultimately, the Lakers have flexibility, and they could explore various avenues to strengthen their roster. The waiting game may continue until the Damian Lillard trade is resolved, but eventually, teams will have to make decisions. The Lakers are likely assessing the situation and waiting for the right opportunity to strike. In the meantime, it's crucial to trust the process and have faith in the front office's ability to navigate through these uncertainties. What are your thoughts on the Lakers' waiting game? Which center would you like to see them bring in? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments below. And here's a tip from the Los Angeles Lakers News Top Channel, study financial education and have a better quality of life. In the financial market, studying real estate investment trust REITs and stocks responsibly for passive income, even more.